Hey VC, happy Monday everybody, it's Matt, uh, thought I'd do a video tonight, I did uh, two of them yesterday, and uh, one of them I'm kind of excited was is my first uh, VC contest, uh, which is called the uh, Three Seconds for Three Subscribers, uh, just in a nutshell real quick, it, it uh, I ask uh, people to um, take some of their favorite songs and uh, name their favorite um, their favorite uh, moment in in the songs or moments in the songs uh, just little uh, those little uh, like you really love a song but there's a certain uh, little couple of seconds or five seconds or ten seconds that you really anticipate and look forward to every time you hear those hear the song so just those little discreet uh, vocal inflection or little guitar burst or sound effect or whatever um, if that sounds kind of confusing the video is up uh, that uh, has a little more in-depth explanation of, of what I'm talking about on the contest and uh, so I'm not gonna really get into it too much more right now uh, if you if you're interested you can watch the video um, and I hope you are because I'd like to get a lot of responses on it. I don't uh, necessarily care so much about subscribers or anything like that, but uh, I just enjoy the contests on here. I've, I've uh, entered several of them myself. I love to do the uh, response to those contests, but more than that, what I really, really love about the contests, um, because obviously I know if I do a response, I know what I'm going to say and I know what my choices are and whatever the topic is. So uh, what I really like to do is watch the other, uh, watch you guys uh, with your responses uh, to hear what you all have to say on whatever the con whatever the topic of the given contest is. So uh, like I said, I hope uh, hope it's a contest, the three second deal. Uh, I wanted to try to come up with something that was fun and uh, people could have some fun with and something that's a little different. I hope I hope that's. Uh, achieve those goals with the with the contest. I've had a couple of people have already uh, emailed and said they like the idea and they're going to do a response here soon. May 1st is the deadline so you still have uh, quite a bit of time. Um, Adam Lee, uh, one of my favorite uh, members of the VC for uh, one of the several several people on here that every time I see they have a new video up uh, I really get a kick out of it and look forward to watching them because uh, because I like to uh, see their collection. More important than that, I like to uh, hear their take on music and life in general and other things. And, and Adam, uh, you're certainly one of those that I look forward to your videos and, and enjoy uh, hearing your take on things. And I appreciate you uh, doing the response to my contest. Uh, good response, by the way. I watched it when I got home here from work today. Uh, but I hope to get more responses just because I want to hear other people's take on my idea there uh, and not not to uh, get subscribers or not to tell me what a great idea it is or anything but I just want to hear everyone's response so um, real quick I'm not going to talk about this much but I haven't gotten me any new records lately uh, with the exception of this came in the mail today at work so I'm glad to finally get that this is the uh, archive edition that was released uh, what was it three or four years ago double album 180 gram vinyl the uh, regular album and the uh, bonus disc with some uh, singles uh, single uh, tracks that were on singles and some other outtakes and so forth haven't had a copy of band on the run on vinyl in I don't know 20 years so it's good to uh, have that again and I'll do a video sometime soon on my thoughts on that album uh, not one of my favorite McCartney solo albums, to be honest with you, uh, but I do like it. It's it's an it's an album that I like, but don't always love. But I'll get into that another time. I had uh, what I wanted to do tonight was when I talked about the contest video last night, the three second contest. I mentioned that uh, I had come up with what I thought were two good ideas for contests, and I was going to save the second one for another contest down the road. Well, I was thinking about it today, and I think this is kind of a fun deal too, and uh, I want to, so I wanted to go ahead and do it, and I'm not gonna do it as a contest since I've got a contest going right now. I'm just gonna do it as a, 
I guess I'll call it a challenge. I'm going to call it the VC Cannon Challenge. So there's no prize, there's no winners, there's no deadline, uh, but it's just something that I think could be fun, and I really uh, hope you all like it too, and I really am looking forward to getting a lot of responses. Uh, again, not for subscribers or anything like that particularly, but just because I'd like to hear you all's take on, on this uh, this idea. And I made a video just now that I was going to post. I wanted to do this pretty quick, but then I was finished with the video and I looked and it was 28 minutes long and I was like geez I can ramble on and nobody wants to sit through 28 minutes I might still end up posting that video later in case anyone out there does want to sit through half an hour of me rambling on but the contest uh, not contest the uh, the challenge is pretty might be a little complicated but let's see if I can explain this succinctly and quickly um, have y'all heard of the people referring to the canon, meaning the canon is the examples of the, the best and the, the greatest of a certain subset of whatever the set is, a uh, set of whatever the set is, a uh, canon of literature, you know, Macbeth and Moby Dick and Grapes of Wrath and uh, Tom Sawyer and Catcher in the Rye, you know, the great works of literature. So you've got the canon for music too and uh... well we're all pretty heavy duty music fans here on the VC I would assume because if you're not if you're just a casual music fan I'm not sure why you would be in here watching videos of people talk about the record collection but um, so you've all seen these lists in the magazines over the years that every every few years of the music magazines will do those hundred greatest albums of all times lists and um, what uh, you know those are fun because you can sit there and argue with the list of the things that you think should have been ranked higher or the things that uh, are on there that shouldn't be or that aren't on there that should be and et cetera et cetera but what I'm getting to is uh, we've all seen and and the list is and, and, and the list is just a guideline so don't really pay attention to that so much. This isn't a set in stone uh, list or anything, but I mean those albums that are highly uh, acclaimed and loved by a large segment of music, uh, heavy duty music fans, I guess for lack of a better word, uh, and it could be something that's somewhat obscure like that, or it can be an album that was sold a lot more copies and more commercially successful and chart topper, you know, could be Sgt. Pepper or uh, Born to Run or it could be something like this, you know, Modern Lovers. Um, so what I'm getting at is if you're in the VC and a big music fan, whether you've ever heard this or not, I assume that you've seen this album cover and heard of this. Um, maybe you don't like it, maybe you love it, maybe you've never heard it. Um, the Velvet Underground, uh, you know, the album with the banana on the cover. Everybody's seen that, I think. Uh, Village Green by the Kinks. And then, you know, the really popular albums like Abbey Road and so forth. Uh, Beggar's Banquet by the Rolling Stones. So, what I'm, how can I say this to make sense? Let's see. What I want you to do is make a list, because if you don't have these albums, you're not going to be able to show them. And if you've, um, probably if you never heard them, you're not going to have them. But make a list of, uh, say, five to ten of these. Um, cult albums or canon albums or critically acclaimed or fan loved albums or whatever the term you want to use for it is that for whatever reason you've heard of them you've seen them you know like the Velvet Underground album uh, just as an example you don't have to use that one uh, but albums like that that you've uh, heard of and you know that a large segment of music fans hold them in high acclaim and have much love for them but for whatever reason you've just never got around to picking one up or giving it a listen so uh, 
I'll give you two examples on mine um, real quick. The King Crimson album, and I don't know the name of it. I don't know which one it is, but it's that iconic cover of the close-up of the guy's face. His face is red, and he's screaming. Uh, you've all seen that. As far as I know, I've never heard a note of that album. Now, if I were to uh, go out and buy it tonight and put it on the turntable, you know, play it, I might say, oh, okay, okay, I have heard that song, or maybe not. But I've never heard that album, uh, as far as I know. Uh, another one, and that's kind of an obscure, I mean, you, you've all, if you've read music magazines, and if you're like me and were a kid back in the 70s and 80s, and, you know, Red Cream and Rolling Stone and Trouser Press and all that stuff, you've seen that album. Uh, another one that's a, a very popular album, uh, don't have many more, but I used to have all of the Led Zeppelin albums on vinyl, uh, with the exception of, well, I never bought Coda, but all the others with the exception of Led Zeppelin 3 for whatever reason and I remember seeing it in record stores I remember you know even picking it up and considering it once or twice but for whatever reason got another record that day but for whatever reason I just never picked it up and uh, I've heard uh, Immigrant Song of course that gets played on the radio I've heard Gallows Pole a couple of times but uh, and yeah you know, a kid back in those days, everyone loved Led Zeppelin, so they were playing the eight tracks and the uh, ring records to school and stuff. So I'm sure I heard it probably somewhere, but I mean, really and truly, I don't know that I've ever heard that album. So those are just two examples. But so that's the uh, challenge: is to make a list of five to ten of these albums that, uh, for whatever reason, you've just never, you, you know. Never took the time to listen to. Sound effects by the jam. These are just some examples. Who sell out? Entertainment Gang of Four. Sorry for the CDs tonight. I just don't have vinyl album, vinyl copies of these. Marquee Moon. Shoot Out the Lights. Richard and Linda Thompson. One of those hundred best lists that always shows up on there. Um, the Can album. Um, and like I said, it might be. Sgt. Pepper, you've never heard Sgt. Pepper, Pet Sounds, Love Supreme, John Coltrane, um, so, I don't, i just do this because I like this album and I want to show it, Zen Arcade, Who's Do, so, that's the challenge, you make a list of, uh, five to ten of these albums that you've never heard for whatever reason, and then, the other wrinkle in that, I don't want you to go out and buy five to ten albums that you don't have, unless you just want to. But go out and get a copy of at least one of the albums. And you can get all ten if you want, or you can get three or four. But get a copy of at least one of them. Take it home, give it a listen. Then listen to it again. And then listen to it a few more times over the next three to four days so that you get, you know, get, get comfortable and get acclimated with it. And uh, because, you know, a lot of times on a record, first time, you can't really tell. Sometimes you just love in first sight, and sometimes it sounds kind of bland or kind of awful the first time, but it give it a couple of more plays, and it starts to grow on you. Sometimes it doesn't grow on you. Sometimes you hate it the first time and hate it the 20th time. But give it a few plays, get to know it, and then come back, give your list of the 5 to 10 records that you have never heard that are kind of famous records or whatever the term you want to use and get the one that you bought a copy of or the two you bought a copy of whatever and give a little uh, well you can do a review but but kind of your thoughts on the record more than the review uh, you know this you know this album is is well loved by a lot of music lovers but does it deserve that love in your opinion maybe yes maybe you're gonna be coming back and saying those people are crazy I don't know what they see in this crap uh, and just sort of your thoughts on the record. And, uh, you know, it, like I said, it can be a, a million seller chart topper that you just never got around to listening to, or it can be a fairly obscure record, but one that you've at least seen and heard of and know that a lot of people love. Don't, don't try to out-obscure each other and come in with, uh, you know, Brenda Hoke and the singing Purple Drafts or something that three people in the world have ever heard of. I mean, I'm not saying that, but I mean, if you want to do something like that, Gang of Fours Entertainment, which is a great record, by the way, uh, you know, hopefully I'm making myself clear. 
and uh, feel free to stay in your comfort zone if you're a 60s rock and roll fan and but you for whatever reason never heard Captain Beefheart's first album or Moby Grape's first album or the Velvet Underground but you figure well I'm a 60s fan and that's 60s music so I'll give that a shot okay or go out of your comfort zone if you're a heavy metal fan and you never really bothered or paid attention to jazz but you think you know why not I'll go get kinda blue by Miles Davis and give that a shot that's fine you know hip-hop if you're not a hip-hop fan or country or whatever if you want to go out of your comfort zone stay in it so that's uh that's the uh, the challenge not the contest um, and no real deadline but uh, I hope to see a lot of responses and the only thing I would ask is if you do make a response to uh, to uh, give me uh, uh, a message or an email just so I'll know you made a response because I'm interested and I want to see them and I want to watch them so there you go hope everybody has a good night and uh, we will talk to you later if uh, you're interested go look at the uh, three for three contest and uh, and uh, get your response on that and have some fun with it good night everyone